Uh, FYI Breckner with Tony Hill. Uh, Hills Ups and Downs is a new book that you've written. Um, you're a geog- used to be a geography teacher. How did you get into the book business? Well, it's a sad story, really. What happened, basically, is in 2001, some time ago, sadly, my wife, wife, my wife died. She died of bowel cancer. And uh, we'd had 18 months, 19 months to deal with this. And uh, we discussed many things, obviously, one of which was um, you know, what to do when she went. So I suggested a good long bike ride might be a good idea. I used to cycle to work and back, so I thought it would be a good idea. And um, so did she. So when she did pass away, I thought, yeah, it's time to get on my bike. So three days after the funeral, I got my old mountain bike out and made some basic preparations and set off. So when did you do the journey? It was in June 2001. So some years ago. You've been writing the book ever since? or? No, I, I didn't intend to write a book, of course. Uh, I just kept a journal as I, as I travelled travelled on. But several people on the journey suggested, why don't you write a book? They started reading my journal in pubs or whatever, whatever it may be. And um, I thought, yeah, why not? So it took me 18 months when would it got back. Desc- would you describe it as a, a, a travel book? There's several themes in the book. I would say one of them is the journey, which is told in chronological form. So you've got day one and day two, and what I did on day three, day four, etc. But what I also did was, you know, I had all these hours on the road, basically. So I, at the end of each day, and possibly the next morning, I just collected all my thoughts and put them onto paper. And many of those thoughts were to do with my wife's illness, for example, to do with how she coped with her illness, all the procedures, um, and also our life together. So these are these are told in random flashback as they happened each day. So the book is really a, a fairly accurate description of everything that happened over those 23 days that I cycled from Merthyr up to the northernmost post part of the Shetland Islands. So Hills, Ups and Downs by Tony Hill. Um, where can we buy this book, Tony? Well, it's uh, uh, currently it's it's on Amazon uh, uh, in electronic form. It's also with the Cambria Books, uh, based in Llandilo, and it's on their website. But by the end of this week, uh, Friday, I'm hoping it'll be out in hard copy. So it will it will be in on Cambria's website. It then goes out to um, the trade basically which will probably take about a month before it appears in bookshops um, and then will be available hopefully wherever. So a good, good present for Christmas then? I hope so. <laughs> One last question, now uh, when this gets made into a film who's going to play you? Robson Green I thought. Robson Green? Robson Green would be good. Is Mel Gibson available this time of year? I'm sure Mel Gibson's a bit old isn't he now? Oh George Clooney in that case. George Clooney, maybe. I was 46 when I did this ride, mind. I'm not 46 anymore. How old is Brad Pitt now? Is he about 46? I think he might be about 46. Could be Brad? Yeah, Brad Pitt, I think. Yeah. Brad Pitt, OK. I'll, I'll ring him. Or you ring him. You have to be someone British, wouldn't you? You can't, you can't an American playing you. Oh, that's true. Could be Dick Van Dyke all over again. Dick Van Dyke. Mm. <laughs>